about the game. If the players have joined us by then, we will then open it up for questions for the players. We'll get the student athletes out of the way, and then we'll finish up with coach uh, questions for coach. Obviously, we have uh, Iona's coach following. So uh, go ahead, coach, if you would, just uh, with an opening statement. Hey, Renault's. Thank you for being here, y'all. Thanks, Tommy, for being here. Uh, that's the way we drew it up. That's what we thought would happen. <laughs> Obviously not. Um, let me just say, I, I own is absolutely terrific. I said this uh, to our, our local media yesterday. We played some really good teams this year, um, Oklahoma being one who I think is unbelievable offensively. And I thought on film these guys were the best offensive team that we'd faced this year. And uh, they just they just proved that. They're, they're just fantastic in, in every facet offensively, the way they handle the ball, uh, their team passing ability, their poise. Um, and they shoot the blood out of it, you know, from several positions. Uh, they 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 make hard shots look easy, and um, we never we never really got into a great defensive rhythm. And that's what this team has hung their hat on. I think KenPalm.com were uh, top 25 in the country in defensive efficiency, and I want to make us look silly several times. So it was a very very good win for us. We did enough offensively uh, to keep it in the road. Uh, played with some poise down the stretch. Just got. Just a few stops um, we were fortunate enough to get. Proud of, um, very proud of our physical effort down the stretch because I know we were tired as, as fast as they play, as fast as both teams were playing. Um, very proud of these guys, obviously, and, um, and our four seniors to, uh, to go out, uh, to continue to go out the right way, whether that was our last one at home or not. We'll go ahead and uh, let you address the student athletes. Yeah. No, it, when they were getting ready, well, Lori was stepping to the foul line. Um, I made eye contact with my right hand guy here and just told him, let's let's get a, a great push. And if we if, if their defense was going to get set, we knew we had two to call. Um, but I know um, um, I'm not smart enough uh, to be more productive than Speedy Smith in the open floor. So. Um, luckily, uh, we got a good uh, high ball screen set by Mike Kaiser, and then we we sent all five to the glass. Obviously, with with Speedy being our point guard, had a huge tip in, and then I thought he had poise enough to stay in front of the ball as they tried to get um, a quick push, and, and they actually got a pretty good look that uh, was close. Um, so that was you know that that was the last few seconds there. I can't say enough about their their guard play. Um, unbelievable, really, really, really good guards. We have tremendous guards as well. Yeah, he's he's pretty good though. Twenty one and twenty one and sixteen is not bad. He's a load, and he's um he's so different. He's not a prototypical big. He's he's like a combo guard at two hundred fifty pounds. He's fun to watch. I, I loved watching these guys on film until my stomach started hurting. Um, he's just a tough cover, and we we thought that um. We'd have an advantage by by pressuring him more, and so going into the game, we want to switch one through five. But as although he doesn't look like a deer, the way he runs the floor, his first step is very quick, and um, he got by guards, bigs. It didn't matter. He scored in the post versus guards versus bigs. He's good in the offensive glass. He's got a a great feel, tremendous hands, and then I, he moves his feet really well defensively too. We we, we thought we'd have better success um, dragging him into ball screen action and. Uh, he was pretty good. He's a uh, he's a really good player. I, I was really impressed with uh, with Bowman. Uh, what an unbelievably quick release he has. They all shoot it. Um, Isaiah Wilman, uh, Williams, uh, excuse me, Armand is is tremendous. But uh, but AJ English is is whoa, he's as good a guard as we've played all year. Um, and I'm not sure that he's that good every night. But I, I know AJ English tonight was probably the best guard we've played this year. Yeah. What does it say about that conference that here they finish middle of the pack and they come in here and give you all you want? I, 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 maybe I'm mistaken. I believe they, they won the conference they did. regular yes, season. Yes. Yeah, Jay. No, that's okay. Um, and like, I, like I, I talked about yesterday, our, our people in, um, on, on campus and in Ruston, some of them are probably familiar with um, the, the prestige of, of their program. But most of, most of the people around here, I, I would have guessed, um, 
wouldn't be familiar with with Iona as compared to a to an Arkansas or compared to a, an SEC, ACC, what have you. But uh, um, again, we strive to be what Iona is. A every year around this time, they're in the NCAA tournament or they're in the NIT, and uh, they've got it going. Um, so this was a, this was a really good program win for us. So it, it, we didn't just beat anybody; we beat a really good program. You were looking at the stats a little while ago, and your eyes kind of got big a couple of times in the NIT. <laughs> Uh, David Laurie stats. I didn't realize he he had dominated us that much. Um, that that was probably it. I, I thought we got uh, pretty pretty even scoring, which is surprising to me when when you have uh, what do we have six guys uh, get twelve or more, and then when you look at their assist turnover ratio twenty to twelve, that just that hasn't happened to us much this year, especially at home. Um, they they got us right out of press, and then we couldn't even set our press. And then they, our half court man, they were beating that down the floor a bunch as well. They're good defensively, and they're good. Re they're good in all areas. That's why they're in the postseason every year. But they're they're elite offensively. How did the pace of play affect you all specifically early? I noticed a lot of times mm -hmm. in the first half, you know, guys in the hand on yeah. hands, hands on their knees. I thought uh, both teams at times looked a little winded, and I just think that's what they do, and that's what we do. We look like that at times uh, in most games. Um, and a lot of that has to do with, I guess, time and score and who's made a run. You know, uh, um, your mentality, I think, has a lot to do with it. When we went on a 5-0, 7-0 run, we looked pretty fresh. Uh, when Iona was beating us up and on the floor for layups or turnovers, turning turnovers into layups, we looked pretty beat up. That's just part of basketball, I think. Time for uh, one more question for Coach White. Mm -hmm. Get in. I mean, there were there were times when five seconds didn't even go off the shot clock, and they were putting up a shot. We thought we'd have a struggle in the half court, but we thought that we thought we'd be able to set our half court defense a little bit more. To be honest, we this was the first game this season, if I'm not mistaken, that we didn't start in uh, in zone press off makes the first game all season because we wanted to establish a defensive rhythm in the half court. And never really seemed to be able to do that until uh, midway through the second half. And, and it is funny at, at that time. I thought Iona stepped up and got some stops as well. It became um, not a defensive game, but uh, probably somewhat uh, more toward the middle uh, and less of, of the offensive shootout that it was the first 30 minutes of the game. Uh, again, they, they, they're, they're tremendous getting that thing out quick, uh, pushing it down our throats off makes or misses. The other thing that surprised me a little bit, I didn't expect them to come in here and have success pressing us. Um, and they did. Their guards are really, really quick. And and everyone that they play has really quick hands. They got their hands on a lot of balls as well and uh, created some disruption. Um, even with even with Speedy and Alex, some of the better ball handlers that um, I've been around all year. You know, Speedy and Alex are as good handling the ball as, as we've really played. Um, but these guys really crawled up into us, and, and they showed a lot of prowess there defensively with their pressure as well uh, in the full court. It wouldn't show up on the, on the stat sheet, but I thought Mike did a good job of running the court. He had like three or four. Yeah. Alley-oop dunks. Uh, how did he maybe negate Lori's play? Because it seemed a lot of times he was beating them up and down the court. Uh, I, you know, I, I guess he – that's his best way to be productive. So it, he negated some of it, but you know, Lori still had a whale of a game. But that's what Mike's got to do. That's his gift, um, and that's that's why we do a lot of spread pick and roll stuff. Mike's gift is his speed, beating his defender two ball screens, beating his defender back to uh, to the rim, and and he's got to be a, a deer in transition because it's if it's a wrestling match, he uh, he's going to lose a lot of those, and um, he lost some of those wrestling matches to Lori. Uh, he's just got to continue running the floor for us because. Uh, that's what he's really good at.